So asking you shall receive, we're back on PvZ2 Reflourished. I floated the question about doing a series on this, playing through the whole thing. Clearly you weren't interested. We're going to jump back into this. I really like what I've seen with this mod so far. I think it's really promising. But we haven't even got into the real meat of it yet. Like I said, every single world in the adventure now has new levels that we can play, as well as the two new worlds they've added. I think I want to start simple, start from the beginning. Ancient Egypt has 10 new levels. There's like a whole bunch of other stuff as well. We've got this Yeti, Lawn of Doom. God, you man didn't have have to go this hard level 26 here it is here's the start ice p is now an unlockable plant here which i believe was a premium before you got a boss here at 29 you get squash and then the final boss at 35 okay should we get started remember if you want to play this mod yourself i'll leave a link to it in the description you can go and check it out what is up why are there suddenly 10 new levels what are we doing in ancient egypt again User Dave, my memory could be faulty, but we just defeated Dr. Zomboss here. I took out some of your memory cards to use as Nacho replacements. Helpful. Neighbor, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, we must have been caught in a time loop. We're from the future. If you've not experienced the mania of modern day, it is recommended you do so before continuing. Oh, I have. Don't you worry. The new days of horror Dr. Zombos has enabled will be difficult to overcome without versatile plants. Okay, so is this like going to be more difficult than modern day? I don't know, man. Let's see. I mean, they're not. Jesus Christ. This is the first one. Okay, fine. <laughs> so last time we did this, we went over some of the balance changes. There were some interesting ones in there. Some of the plants that I used to rely on are not quite so reliable anymore. But that doesn't mean we don't have options. I'm a little bit turned off from the idea of bringing primal sunflower i feel like maybe i just bring reg sunflower i'm gonna bring reg sunflower i'll bring iceberg lettuce since he got buffed who didn't get changed who got kind of left alone because remember what i have to factor in as well is the plant levels are gone everything i'm using is now back at level one again roto i want to see how you fare in this injurian you got buffed you're coming time warp Yep, you know what time it is. I think Intensive Carrot got buffed, so I might bring him. What else could we bring? Maybe Lava Guava. I don't know. Let's see how we go with this. Let's get stuck into this mod for the second time. So yeah, they're kind of recommending that you go and beat Modern Day before you even attempt these bonus levels. So that indicates to me that they're not going to be the easiest. Then again, the creator did specifically tell me that. So we'll get the Sunflowers down. I will... I'm going to leave those two for the moment because I'll just Lava Guava them when they get close enough. I'm hoping Roto is still going to be a viable option because I was starting to get quite sentimentally attached to him. This thing has earned my respect. Injurian as well. I think I'm going to have a lot of fun using Injurian. I think two rows of Sunflowers should be enough. I'll just start spamming Rotos and see how we go with that. I don't even know if I leveled up my Lava Guava when... I played through this normally. See, I can't like... A lot of the premiums I left at level 1. It's things like Lightning Read and things like Repeater that I'm probably going to struggle with. Okay, so he like full on just waltzed through that. That's not good. We know how this works. I just got to get as many of them down as possible. I've got... Oh, hang on, hang on. Intensive Carrot. Let's get it. Yes. I'm dropping that actually. Lava Guava. I probably should have dropped that for the bucket head. I'll drop Injurian for him. Maybe that works. All right, let's see how we go with this. We always have the time warp as a backup, if need be. That Injurian's almost dead already. Let's drop her Iceberg Lettuce there. Buy a bit of time. Revive this Roto. I'm already kind of feeling this combo. I don't know about you. Let's start filling in these gaps, honestly. I don't know why I'm laying it out like a chessboard. Oh, don't put them on these tiles, otherwise it's... 10 years of bad luck. I don't know. No plant foods either. They're not giving me a single one so far. I wonder if that's going to be a... I wonder if that's a sign of things to come. We're lava gathering that. That's the one. They did say there were gargs coming in this one. Kind of wondering when they're going to show up. I'll tell you what, actually, if they do decide to give me a plant food, I'll stick an iceberg lettuce in the back. I see that. I see that. I see that. Drop that there. God, they are sending a shitload, aren't they? They ain't hanging about. I'll tell you what, let me hit this time warp real quick. I need time, I need time. Intensive carrot. Yeah, they're just sending volumes now. Who wants the guava? I think you, this lane probably wants the guava, to be honest. You can have the... Almost got that plant food. Come on, give me it, give me it. That's it. I'll get rid of that sunflower. We'll put another... Iceberg lettuce back there in a sec. And then I can exact my master plan. We can freeze everything. Wava the shit out of this. Triple kill. I'm expecting gargs. There it is. How many of them though? Just the one? 
In fact, let me guava him real quick just to get that early damage in. Once I got a gauge for when this wave is stopped, then I think that could be it, actually. Go ahead. Oh, he didn't get frozen because he's standing in the pool of lava. That's great. Okay, he's dead. Uh, guava? I think that might just have been the ticket. I think we played that one pretty well. That was kind of tough, honestly. That was... The setup was holding, but they were pushing. Like, they were really pushing. So Roto is still viable. Yes! This is good. Now I can sleep at night. Who's next? Produce at least 9,000 sun. You had to nerf Goldbloom. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, yeah. Primal Sunflower. Do I still have... I still have Imitator. That's good. Give me Imitator Goldbloom. I think now is the time to see if old reliable still works. You know what I'm talking about. Let me bring Lava Guava again. That was working quite well. See, this is where it blows because now I can't use Goldbloom at the start of the level anymore, so I have to wait. Man's got to produce 9,000 sun, and the first thing they send is one of these. Do you know what? Just get out of here. Straight away, are they going to be sending these all level? Dude, you're such a troll. Although I think it probably still counts as producing sun, even if they steal it. Speaking of producing sun, let's get on it. Thank you, thank you. Because I need more repeaters. I'm dropping that torchwood as well. I need more repeaters. It's going to take me a while to get this properly set up, but hopefully... I'm just hoping that the torchwood will kill him when... No. Bro, chill sending them that far. Nah, 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 nah. Wait, give, give me that lawnmower. Give me that lawnmower. We ain't playing that game. All right, gold bloom it. Give me all that before they steal it. Shrinking violet. Hey, ain't used this in a while. I like it. See both of them. And I raise you a pool of lava. Do I go for one more? Raw Reaper, if I then put a torch there real quick, just to... Hey, dude, it instantly got melted. It's already on fire. How can it get torched? How do you torch a torchwood? Shrink and violet. Stop nicking my son. You're only allowed him every other weekend. Uh, let me quickly... Despite the fact that everything in this middle lane is minuscule, we're still having trouble killing it. Now I can start putting torches down. There we go. Now we're in business. I need to be producing sun a lot quicker than this, though, because I <laughs> suddenly remember what the gimmick of this level is, and I don't think I'm on track to get it done. Man, you know what I should have brought? I should have brought tile turnip. That would have helped. That would have made life, life a lot easier. Maybe if I calm down on the lava guavas, I need to try and finish this level slower. Oh, they're ripping through that. What the f- oh, now I've got to reset this whole thing. Uh, Go after that. Oh, we're almost there. Show me the money. Yes. Okay, now we just have to finish. If this is the final wave, then all I have to do is defend top middle. Because top lane's a problem. Can I shrink it? Yes, you can. Go after it. That's pretty much going to be the whole thing deleted. It's amazing how quickly that deals with stuff. Hit him with that. Hit him with that. And you're just done. So, Ice P. Did I have Ice P? I do now. It's cool, I like that. It's a nice little touch. Actually having some of the premium plants as unlockables now, so you don't have to flip and pay for them. These levels are long as well. I don't even know if I'm going to... Oh, it's last stand. I was going to say, these levels are kind of long though. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to fit... 10 levels into this. I might have to split this into two parts. What is that? Pyramid head? My guy, you're in the wrong game. In fact, I don't even know what game you're from, but it ain't this one. In fact, let me look this up real quick, otherwise it's gonna get on my nerves. Silent Hill. I'm gonna make a bold prediction that this is effectively this world's version of a knight. Or them flipping purple cube head things they had in Far Future. Which they're probably gonna have again. See, there's no point in me bringing shadow plants because I can't use Moonflower. I have an idea. Don't know if this is going to work, but I'm going to try it. I'm going to try Pea Pod with Torchwood. Let me just, let me try this real quick. How much is it to get a fully... I mean, I know how much it is. It's flipping... Wow. I passed maths. Oh my god. It's 625. Can I afford to do that five times? I think I can. Let's kind of calculate it as I go. So that's three, four... Three, three, four, four, four. 
Do I now have enough to put torchwoods in every lane? I do. But I don't have enough to fully upgrade all the pea pods. That's fine. That's fine. They've all got at least four. Well, there's only one with five, but let's see if this works. I have one plant food. This may wind up being a bit of a a shit play, but we'll find out. Because that's the thing. Now the gravestones are out of the way. These things are going to be melting everything in front of them. Absolutely everything. I want to see how quick these bucket heads die. Three bursts. Four bursts. Okay, that's actually taking quite a while. Yeah, I fucked up. Now they're sending about a billion of these. I mean, at least the top one's getting work done. <laughs> the only one that I managed to get five in. I think we use these plant foods to upgrade the torchwoods. I don't think I have to worry about doing that to the top one, but the ones that only have four, I think is probably quite essential. I don't know. This is this is kind of getting there. I wasn't too sure about this at first. Now, I think I feel a lot better about it. Now I've managed to get a few more plant foods on board. But now in comes the sandstorm. I want an elaborate sandstorm. One whole zombie. Give me one more plant food just so I can do that bottom lane. Oh, here comes Pyramid Head. I just got done playing Alien Isolation. Now you're going to make me move on to Silent Hill. Oh. I can't believe they've just done that. Oh, they just shoved a dick up my ass. Come on. Is this the final wave? Are we on final wave? Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, gimme. Do you know what? On second thoughts, just do this. Do this. Take him. Come on. God, it took three hits of that just to get rid of the pyramid head. Are we done? Why are we still... Okay. We're done. We made it. So, Peapod Torchwood. Not a bad shout. I think that's one of the challenges. Oh, wait. No, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Oh, wait. No, I forgot. Oh, the next level's a boss. Oh, what are the bosses going to be like in this? If these bosses are on some next level, I swear down. Fear the wretched pharaohs. The mummified gargantuas are lords. They shall rule over you and I alike. Why are you saying this? Penny, what are you babbling on about? Oh, someone hacked into a hardware. Like I hacked into your mum's hardware. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to edit that out. <laughs> Hello there, Zomboss. How do you do? Hope you don't mind me listening. Boss man. <laughs> yeah, boss man, what's going on, fam? Got big things in store for you. For example... Oh, she's just using... Okay, this is like the crown tundra all over again. You know when Calyrex uses Peony to talk to you? But, but Zombus can just talk to me. Why don't you just talk to me? Obey the Egyptian overlords, user Dave. They shall feast on your brains. They shall arrive momentarily. Is this your way of telling me you're just going to send a shitload of gargantuas? Because I don't know how I feel about this. What are we saying? Oh, God, and of course it's a conveyor belt as well. It's always a conveyor belt. I'll just... I'll, I'll play with what they give me, I guess. Just stick down whatever. Bowling bowl? Okay interesting choice. Haven't been forced to use these since my favorite world. Uh, we need intervention in this lane. By that, I mean this conehead needs to die. And he needs to die quickly. He's not going to, is he? I'm gonna wait for him to... Oh, that was clutch. That was clutch. Okay. Just spam everything. Just do it. Just go ahead. Three Peters always go in the middle lanes. That's a rule. The unwritten rule of three Peter. I will save the iceberg lettuce for... I mean, I could use a couple of them, but I want to always keep one saved for... I mean, I don't know if they're going to give me a plant food, but they're giving me shitloads of these things. Hold on, let's actually start popping some of them down. I didn't think they were going to give me this many. I see a plant food. I see a plant food. I need to start using some of these Johnnies. Hold on. See, I'm now I'm struggling in this lane. Uh, who was that? Jalapeno. <laughs> let's go. I'm going to save it, though. I don't want to use it just yet. In fact, I changed my mind. He was about to wipe out my whole setup. I had no choice. Freeze everything. Bowling bulb, you think you got that lane covered? Yeah, you <laughs> he's got that lane well and truly covered. Don't you worry about it, mate. Oh, we're so dead. I might have to just go ahead. I use the lawnmower and then they instantly give me a coconut cannon. That probably would have done it. I hate this game sometimes. Use this, use this. Plant food it. Because that pushes everything back as well. Oh, shit houses. This is not good. This is actually rather disastrous. Now you give. You always give me it after my lane's been wiped out. Guacodile? Okay, I don't know what you want me to do with that. I'm gonna do this. And I'm gonna jalapeno this lane because I would like to preserve it. 
And I would like something more than an iceberg lettuce to put in it. Please, if you wouldn't mind. Dude, they're just, they're doing nothing, just nothing but iceberg lettuce. There has to be more to this game than iceberg lettuce. I'm honestly going to have to do this. And then do this. I can't afford to lose that bottom lane. Have you ever seen so much of this shit in your life? Yeah, that lane's gone. And then, of course, the usual lane dies, and then they give me the jalapeno. Take this lane out. Oh, this one's rough. Oh, this one's rough. My defense is gone. All I'm getting now is just iceberg lettuce. I'm having to just try and stall them as much as I can with that. Jalapeno, we love to see it. All I have to defend this top lane is one coconut cannon. That is it. Get that three peter down. This is bad. This is not good. This is the last lane that I have a lawnmower in. Let's do this. Unorthodox, but I feel it was my only option. I'm getting desperate. I'm getting so desperate. Quacodile? That seri- Seriously? You gotta be kidding me. I have a free blizzard. Go for it. Get him. Get him, blizzard. <laughs> oh, that didn't even kill him. Quick, coconut cannon. And freeze him. Mm, come on. I'm so dead. I'm actually so dead. There's no shot. I've still got to do another wave. Oh, I'm so dead. Freeze him. I see that. If I survive this, lads, it's a bloody miracle. I think this this could be the end, boys. I think this could be the end, boys. Cherry bomb, come on! Yes! Oh, you have no idea how much I needed that. Jalapeno! Fire! Come on, coconut cannon! By time. Freeze him. Get rid of that. Coconut cannon, go. Come on. Guacodile? Yes! Oh my god! Holy sh- <laughs> Oh my god, what was that level? That was so hard! Hey, listen, I had a freebie. That doesn't count as cheating. It ain't pay to win if I didn't pay for it. Wow, I need, I need to sip my tea. If I'm gonna down the rest of it for that. Yeah, so we're splitting this into two parts. These levels are insane. Your mowers have been taken to the ceremonial place of sacrifice. A worthy price to pay for the... You couldn't have just taken Dave. You had to take my lawnmowers. You exist only to serve the holy pharaohs. Jesus Christ, you've been hacked bad. It's like when you accidentally click that link on Discord. Survive and protect the endangered plants. I'll try. <laughs> I'll do my best. Oh, man. Can I just say... So far, well done on these levels. Bloody well done. That last level alone, that was like, that was a mini boss. That was harder than most of the zombie boss fights, if not all of them. So what do we think is the best way to protect a bowling bulb? I would say, that's a bloody good question. I'm gonna bring Sunshroom. Maybe you can assume the position as my favorite sun production. I kind of want to do fat garlic. Cause here's the thing, if I've got bowling bulbs laid out like this, I could use that to my advantage. Redirect everything into top middle and bottom middle with fat beats all around. Yeah, I think we could do something with that. In fact, let me tell you how I want to do this. Obviously, I want time warp. Duh. I could totally bring spike weed. I mean, there's ice weed, which may crutch this guy, but that's hella expensive for what I'm bringing it for. I'm going to bring intensive carrot. I really am. I actually, I'm kind of liking this thing. This is the halfway point. I've been going for almost an hour. It's taken me damn near an hour just to do four levels. That's crazy. You know the drill, garlic. Which lane's he going? There. Not a problem. See, now he's going to get absolutely mullered in that. Look at him. Look how quickly he died. I'm telling you, this is viable. In fact, I'm going to stop putting the spike weeds down as well. Yeah, this, I like this. I really like this. Come on, fat beats. See the business here. Come on. No? Really? You're really going to make me bust out the time warp? All right, so these things have some madness HP. Oh, shit. Nope. I really, really hate these things. Uh, that's not going to work, is it? No, is it? Fuck. Oh, I don't have lawnmowers either. Lava guava, I'm going to have to... Oh, now he dies. Redirect everything. That's fine. That garlic is still there, so that kind of works. I'm going to revive that. Um, Get another fat beat in here real quick. 
Okay, no, no, no. Time warp, time warp, time warp. Reset, reset. Run it back, run it back. Oh, this is falling apart. This is absolutely falling apart. I mean, I have still got the fat beats in the middle, and I have still got the spike weeds down, so it is kind of working to an extent. I think we're going to have to reverb fart. Go for it. Sometimes... Sometimes you have to just ready the armada and use the old ways. See, I could be really scummy and just... Oh, I don't even need to. No, okay, I'm going to have to. <laughs> they were about to die. Of course, the funniest thing is whenever they actually end up getting to the bowling bulbs, I could always just redirect them away with the um, garlics anyway. But then I haven't got lawnmowers, so... Effective probably isn't the word that I'd use to describe that one. The wolfie plays... Absolutely. It's fine. As long as I've got garlics in these uh, in the top and bottom lanes as well, just to make sure everything's getting redirected so that I can drop my guts. That just ripped through everything, including my trousers. May have to drop a time warp. Yep. For this one half dead pyramid head. Do you know what? You can have a lava guava all to yourself. Congratulations, sir. And that is level 30. That marks the halfway point in these 10 bonus levels. These levels hit different. And just to like put it into perspective, these are the first five bonus levels in the very first world. There's still another five to hit here. And then we still got all of this. What the hell are the big wave beach bonus levels going to be like? What, how bad are they going to be? Anyway, I think that's where we're going to call it for this one. I had initially set out to do all 10 of these levels right now. I didn't think they were going to be that hard. <laughs> oh, well, I guess the series is going to be even longer. But I hope you've enjoyed this one. If you have, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Stay tuned for the next one, and I'll see you next time.